as of yesterday, Crate Mod Update 6 has just dropped. And with that being said, they added something massive. That being centralized storage. This is a storage that lets you hook up multiple different chests, item vaults, or whatever you want to store your items in and be able to access them all, all at the same time from anywhere as long as they're connected together. This works by using these guys, the package frog port. While the package frog port was on top of a packager and connected to a chest, you're able to put items into a chest and give it redstone power and the frog port will send that package with the same address to a frog port with the exact same address. Here you can access all of the items that you sent. Now with that being said, I'm going to show you how you can make infinitely expandable storage that you can access from absolutely anywhere in your world. Now for this case, let's assume all of the chunks around us are loaded all the time and all of these places are pretty close to our house. In order to build this, you're going to need an item vault or chest, an item hatch if you're using an item vault, a stock ticker, a red seat, not specifically red seat, but a seat, a stock link, and a mob if you're using a seat. Alternatively, you can use a blaze burner with a blaze in it. Now to build this, you're just going to need to place down your storage at any size you want. It could be a chest or item vault. Place down your mob of choice or seat with mob in it. Place out in the item hatch if you're using an item vault. You're going to need a packager, a package frog port on top of it if you want to be able to send items to other places, a stock ticker next to the mob or blaze burner. It should get in a little hat like this and a stock link connected to the packager and it should turn green like that. Now, any items that I put inside of this item vault by right clicking the item hatch, it'll go inside of here. And when I right click this blaze burner, it'll show me that I have diamonds in the blaze burner. And I can take these out by selecting the amount I want with screw wheel or just by clicking them. And I click send. This will take a package out and I can shift right click this and it'll give me my diamonds. And I can put this back into the system by just putting it back inside the item hatch. Now let's say I want to hook up this brand new system to my other storage inside of my base that already exists. All you have to do in order to connect these two storages is by breaking this stock ticker, coming over to the existing stock ticker, right clicking it, and it should say tune to this network and it start, should start going blue in your hand. Then you place it back next to your mob or blaze burner and coming over here to your stock link, breaking it, connecting it to the existing stock ticker and connecting it back to the packager now when i access this blaze burner it'll show me everything inside this storage and inside this main storage over here as you can see all of the items are in here ready for me to take out but we're not able to access any of these items that aren't inside of this storage in order to do that we need to set up some way of transporting these. And in this example, I'm going to use chain conveyors as all of these chunks are already loaded. So for this to work, you're going to need to come over to where your frog port is, hold it in your hand, right click the chain that's close to it, has to be close. And when you right click it, it should turn green. Then anywhere that it says it can connect, you can place it. But if it's red, it will not work. And it needs to be placed on top of the packager. Once you place it, go ahead and give it a name for this one we're going to call it third base we're just going to call it third base and we're going to hit done above the frog port you should see third base now let's come over to our main storage i have this storage named blue so now when we want to take items out of blue and put it into third base we need a way to specify where we want the items to be sent to because we want the items from blue to send to third base now for this example i'm just going to break the frog port at blue and reconnect it just to show that you do need to have it connected to a line and i'm going to name this blue again but if i want items to come out of blue and then come over to third base the simplest way to do this would be by getting a clipboard and placing it on the ground then in it typing in on a new line hashtag the, then the name of the frog port that you just made 
mine being ah. third base because I already have blue in here. So now that I have third base added, I can come on over ah. here and click on the blaze burner or the stock keeper and select in stone. And I now can click on third base and send. This will now send ah. the blocks from blue over to third base. And it will bring it over here for me to take ah. these items out. Now, the simplest way to take this back out of third base, I'd say, would be to have big storages like this in your house or somewhere so you can store massive amounts of items and then making a new stock keeper and frog port for you to access all of your items. And the easiest way to do that would be by using chests. In this example, I'm going to place down two chests and a packager connecting them. Then I'm going to get the frog port, connect it up here, and place it on top of the packager. And then I'm going to name this, let's say, third base takeout. This will represent the area that we want to take out our items. And we will not be putting items back into it through this system. So now to send items here, let's say we're in a different spot in our base. So now we're going to need a brand new stock keeper. You don't have to make a new one, but if it's in a different part of your base, it might be easier if you just leave it near where you're going to take out your items. So I'm going to place down a blaze burner, and I'm going to get the stock ticker that's hooked up to this system by right-clicking it and placing it next to it, and then grabbing the stock link that's connected to this stock link over here or any of your other storages and placing it on the packager. Now you can come over here and access all of your items. So let's say we want to take out the endstone we just took. We would come down here and go to select it. But you will not see third base takeout down here. That's because we still need to come over here and add it into the clipboard. You can also place these clipboards next to any of your packagers. So for this one, I'm going to place it behind. And I'm going to come back here and type in hashtag third base takeout i'm going to place it on the floor by shift right clicking you should see third base takeout and show this little symbol next to it and it should match the name of the frog port now i can come over here and this tag third base takeout will be here so now i can select all the in stone i want and click send that'll send all of the in stone from third base to third base takeout and deliver it for the in the chest for me to take back out and if I ever want to send this back, I can just come back over here to the storage and put it back in. With that being said, you can have as many of these hooked up as you want. All you have to do is chain these together and make sure each one of these that are in chunks that are loaded have different names. As this is my second base, this is my, let's just call this my farm. Green represents the farm and this is my actual home. So in my home, I have 64 obsidian. But my second base has two cyan terracotta. So I want to take out the two cyan terracotta from my second base and bring this to my house. I come over here to my home and click on my stock ticker and select two cyan terracotta and have it send it to my home by clicking on it. Then I can click it and hit send. That'll then send the two cyan terracotta all the way through the system then straight to my house for me to take out. And that's a quick breakdown of how to use centralized storage and have infinite storage in your Create Minecraft world. If you have any more questions or ideas or anything else you'd like me to cover regarding this update, please let me know in the comments. Until next time, peace.